I'm going to show you how to cleanse your aura with a selenite crystal. So the reason that we're using selenite is because selenite is a very high vibration crystal. It's probably one of the deepest cleansers that I know. And the other reason I would recommend it is it also carries an angelic vibration. So it's well known as a cleansing crystal, but to be honest, you can use any cleansing crystal that you have to clear your aura because the process is exactly the same. So I'll be referring to this crystal as selenite throughout, though technically it is satin spa, but it's usually sold under the name of selenite. And by the way, you don't need a wand, you can use another form. Hi, my name is Ethan Lazzarini, and I'm the author of several crystal books, including Crystal Grid's Power and Psychic Protection Crystals. So there's many different ways you can cleanse your aura with crystals. So what I'm showing here is just one way that I use. You can use your own methods, you'll find other methods as well. Okay, so before you begin, set a really clear intention. So your intention is to cleanse your aura. So what you want to do is hold your crystal in your hand. And you want to maybe close your eyes and just focus for a few minutes, or a few seconds, um, on what you're doing and why you're doing it. And that intention should be to cleanse your aura of any negative, unbalanced, or fear-based energies within, around, or connected to your aura. And what that will do is will direct what you're doing and help you work with the crystal, which is, to me, one of the most important parts of crystal healing. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm holding my crystal wand, and I'm holding it in my dominant hand. So then I will begin sweeping, almost like brushing, over the head. So on the side, you can go around, maybe in a clockwise position. Let's go to the back of the neck. And on the arms, hands, and just like a brushing motion. Back the body, so go down to maybe the pelvis. So the back is pretty hard, so I do try and sort of move up and down from here, and then swap hands. And just do your best. Okay, so legs, can you just go down, do the best you can, just going to get all the sides and underneath the feet, and the lower part of your body. Okay, because we worked with intention, what happened was the crystal worked almost like a vacuum, pulling in the negativity and clearing out anything that shouldn't be in your aura. But if you want to do a deeper cleanse, you can also work with the outer layers of the aura if you feel guided to do that. And I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so what you're going to do is reach up as high as you can above your head and go down in front of you, up, down. You're going as far as you can your hand. I'm just working my way around. All right. And then much harder. Move the back. Again. Do what you can to reach that. You can always just turn to the side. And then I am down here. Basically, we're going to go down to the floor. Slowly work this around. So if you're interested in crystals for cleansing your aura, I do have a blog post. If you look in the description below, you should be able to find a link to my blog post all about crystals for cleansing your aura. If you want a more detailed guide, if you're someone who perhaps considers yourself to be an empath or someone who's interested in psychic protection, managing your energy on a daily basis, controlling what energies you let into your aura, and um, controlling your own energy field in the daily day to daily, day, -to -day life then do check out my book, which is Psychic Protection Crystals, which you can find on Amazon, and you may be able to find it elsewhere as well.
So hopefully that was helpful for you, and if you enjoyed this video, please give the video a like, comment if you want to below, and I'll try and get back to you. And also subscribe if you're not already subscribed, if you want more videos like this.